play me on no revolution break the old show. We're organising a protest today because bureaucrats in these buildings behind us are actually writing a new trade agreement. It's going to be the biggest trade agreement in history between the US and the EU. This trade deal has been written because they say it's going to deliver jobs and it's going to bring money to people. But this is a Trojan horse. What it is, is actually a big shift of power away from democracies, away from people, and towards corporations. Good morning everyone. It's so great to see so many of you coming from all over Europe. The TIP is being presented as a trade deal, as something that will help our, our economy. It's being presented as a deal that will give benefits to all of us. But the reality is very different. This is a deal as no other. This is a deal where our regulatory, our safety, our regulations are at stake. And this is a deal brought up by big corporations that really want to have more profit. They brought this Trojan horse type of a deal to lower our standards, our standards on food safety, our standards on uh, safety at work, our environmental protection standards, because they want to get more profit. Well, I'm here to defend our, our profits, um, to defend the businesses of, of Europe and North America. We have the power inside the negotiating rooms. We have the ears of the, of the leaders of North America, the leaders in Washington, the leaders here in Brussels, the leaders in London and Paris and Berlin. They know who to listen to. They know not to listen to citizens not to listen to trade unions, not to listen to consumers. They know to listen to us. We have the money, we're the ones who back them. They know who they should back. We see that big companies have been the pushers for this trade agreement. They have uh, lobbied for years to uh, convince the European Commission to start the negotiations. And we also see now that both in Europe and in the US, uh, big uh, multinational companies are the biggest lobby groups and they're pushing for lower standards whether it's on energy, whether it's on food, whether it's on GMOs. They want to have, they want to lower these standards so it makes it easier for them. The Commission has taken on an, the neoliberal ideology that they believe that what is good for companies is good for citizens. But we've seen now for the last five to ten years with the economic crisis, with the financial crisis, that this is not working, that this is not the, real, the, 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 the truth. Uh, companies have created a lot of these problems and citizens are paying for okay, it. That's, that's the reality. Enough. This is the eighth round of trade talks taking place right now, which as far as we're, I think, all concerned, that's the eighth round too many. We know that when there was a consultation on the investment part of the deal, 97% of people said they did not want that in the deal but still they continue to consider it part of TTIP. We know that most people want their public services to stay in public hands, yet public services are still part of this deal. We know that we have standards for our workers and for food and the environment that we are proud of in Europe, yet these are the very di things at risk through the negotiations in TTIP. They are seen as barriers to trade. There's, there's a, a, a part of TTIP which is still fairly unknown, which is uh, the part about regulatory cooperation. And uh, last week we, uh, 
found out from a leaked document from the Commission what they're planning to do with that. And basically the regulatory cooperation is based on the idea that uh, future laws in the EU and in the US need to be on the same level. So if uh, European governments uh, or the European Commission introduces, wants to introduce new laws, then they want to install a new body, uh, which is called the regulatory bo uh, body, which will look at these laws and see whether they fit with American laws and whether they not, will not have a negative impact on trade and investment and on companies. So this regulatory cooperation body will be the best instrument for multinational companies to basically stop any future legislation in terms of uh, labor standards, in terms of environmental standards, food standards or consumer rights.